A bunch of people have asked and now it's finally here. You can finally create buttons inside of Go High Level for automations and I'll show you how this feature works in this video. If you are one of those people that are waiting for this feature, don't wait, subscribe to this channel and leave your like. Editor, play the intro. What's up everyone? Welcome to another video of my YouTube channel. Lucas Dent is here and today before we dive into the content, I would like to thank every one of you. I have just reached 3000 subscribers. I have been creating content for three years now and in the last 10 months that's when i started creating content more consistent and i've seen great results i've seen how much this channel has grown so i'd like to thank everyone that have been watching the videos if it weren't for you this would not be possible so with no further ado let's jump into this content so here i am sharing my screen with you guys i already have a video in this youtube channel where i'll show you how you can create message templates inside of the whatsapp official api in high level so if you want to know how to create messages with videos images documents or locations i'm going to leave a link in the description of this video so you can watch it later here we're not going to waste anybody's time so we're going straight to the point where we create a template with buttons so you can use in your automation the first thing that you need to do when you create a template is to set up a name then you're going to go through the category you have two options marketing or utility and then the language and in the header section you're going to select what type of content it's going to be used in the header so you can use text you can use image video or document remember keep in mind that if you choose image the header goes away if you use video the same document or location different options will show up here so here on the text i'm going to do just like welcome to my company and you can use your company name here or whatever makes sense in your scenario then in the body you're going to specify the content of your message the goal here is to create a message we're going to ask questions and then based on the answer we're going to direct people to a different department so here we're saying Saying, our company is thrilled to have you here we're using a variable here using someone's name and also you're asking how can we help you and then the next section we're going to choose the buttons we're going to use in this message template you can also add a footer if you would like to but here the example is with buttons so when we click on add button we have all these options you can use a custom button which means that you can add whatever text and then you can choose in the automation side what's going to happen you can do a marketing opt-out that means this person will stop receiving any communication in the whatsapp channel you can also do visit website where you can choose a url that the person is going to visit and you can also do call phone number where you can specify a number or copy offer code so you can share a coupon code for people for an offer for a discount that you may have here we're going to do custom because we are going to do two options we're going to ask them if they would like to talk with the sales department or with the marketing department just so we can use this in our automation so the first thing is to create the button quick reply and here i'm going to set talk with support and then i'm going to add another button saying talk with sales or let's do marketing talk with marketing and then create and then we're going to send this template to be approved and after it has been approved we can use in our automations usually this doesn't take more than one hour so whenever you send a template wait for a little and then you should be able to use short we have finally reached my favorite part of every single video which is automations and i'm showing what we're doing here in this scenario the first message we are sending the template that we have created this is the welcome message we are sending so we're sending all that information i'm going to choose the one that i have done in english you see it right here welcome to my company name our company is thrilled to have you so we're going to save here and then we need an action to wait for the reply don't use time delay use contact reply right here of course you always want to use a name that you can easily identify and locate and that's what we're doing here welcome message and then we have the condition on the condition you're going to type in the same exact text that you have set up on the button so here in our button we have done talk with support and talk with marketing so we're going to copy and paste exact same text for each button and then we have one for support one for marketing we're going to save here and now we can assign to a user so i have a user that i'm going to assign this person to and then i'm going to send a message saying we're adding the the contact first name here and also saying that this is support team how can we help you and the same thing we're doing for the other one we're clicking on marketing here the message and we have this is our marketing team how can we help you of course you can make this 
bigger. You can add more buttons. You can assign or not assign to anyone. You can add tags. You can do several things here in this automation. This is just a basic example so you can see how this works in practice. And the final part of this video, we're going to test this automation. Now that we have already created the automation, let's test so you can see what is the user experience when you use this type of feature. So I already have this contact right here that I'm using as an example, and I'm going to add this contact to an automation that includes that message template. I already sent one manually here, but I want to send one via automation so we can see how this works. I'm going to find my right automation. I'm going to choose the time. I'm going to add them. And now I'm going to receive another message and I'm going to share my screen on my phone so you guys can see also in the screen. So I've just sent this message and now I'm going to click on talk with support. You see it show up right here on my screen. Now it's going to send me another message and says, hello, Lucas, this is our support team. How can we help you? So easy enough, right guys? And you can do this in so many different ways. Every day high level is adding more functionality, especially when it comes to WhatsApp. The Latino community is growing and growing and we need to make high level aware of our needs. So don't forget to use ideas on Go High Level and stay tuned to this channel because whenever there's new features, I'm going to be talking about it here. So see you on the next one, guys. And now that you have finished watching this video, I'm going to leave two of my other videos here for you. One of them is going to be the algorithm recommended for you. And the other one is four ways you can integrate WhatsApp with Go High Level.